Lisa Hamler Fugit has been a leading anti hunger advocate for more than three decades. She has been executive director of the Ohio Association of Food Banks since 2001, a position she still holds today. Her commitment to the mission of Ohio's Feeding America Food Banks to share, provide food and other resources to people in need is steadfast and unwavering. Her observations in the corporate world eventually changed the trajectory of her career and ultimately her impact on her fellow citizens. In the mid-1990s, a major legislative change on the national level dramatically changed the way food banks would need to acquire as well as increase their food sources. This was the catalyst to Lisa's relationship with Ohio's agriculture community. Bridging the gap between where our food came from and the needs of the food banks really began out of the 1996 welfare reform bill called the Personal Responsibility and Work Opportunity Reconciliation Act that at the time cut over a billion dollars out of the way of food stamp benefits for low-income people. And I knew that that was going to have a pretty substantial impact on the demand for emergency food assistance at the food bank level. And recognizing that we could not depend on the ongoing source of donated foods and the need to really develop new relationships and to make that link between Ohio farmers, growers, and commodity producers to be able to procure more of what the food banks needed in the way of both shelf-stable items, but also fresh, wholesome food to feed a growing number of people that were going to be impacted uh, as a result of major federal policy changes at the time. Modeled after a program in Michigan, Lisa designed the Ohio Agricultural Clearance Program, one of the nation's premier models for salvaging surplus, unmarketable agricultural products and redirecting them to food banks and the people they serve. She has worked with five governors and 13 general assemblies to strengthen and expand state investments in hunger relief and in Ohio's agricultural community. The Ohio Agriculture Clearance Program came out of the whole idea of welfare reform. And at the time, we had already were establishing a, a purchase program and thought, you know, what we really need to do is get more fresh, wholesome foods into the diets and onto the dinner plates of low-income Ohioans. And what better way to do that than to work with Ohio farmers and growers. And from that, after many conversations that uh, we knew that uh, farmers often overproduced in order to meet their commercial market, and that there was product oftentimes that had been left in the field unharvested. And we said if we could pay a portion of your picking, packing, processing, and production costs to harvest that, uh, would you be willing to partner with Ohio Food Banks? So that was really the beginning seed that germinated for the Ohio Agriculture Clearance Program. And it has grown into a program that provides tens of millions of pounds of the most healthy, wholesome food that we have to distribute to needy Ohioans in the state of Ohio. It is now described as one of the most efficient, effective, public-private partnerships currently operating in the state. Uh, we believe and know for many of the families that we serve, this is their only access to fresh, locally grown produce that they have access to. In addition, Lisa has served as consumer representative on the Ohio Livestock Care Standards Board, which also ended up creating another partnership to combat hunger. And I am so proud of the work that is done around the livestock care standards. And I know, again, other states have replicated that, but to be a consumer representative on that council uh, and have been appointed by then Strickland and then reappointed by Governor Kasich, it was, that was an honor and most humbling experience to be able to represent the consumers on that and always have an opportunity to talk about why it was important that we would buttress and fortify these operations to make sure that we had access, that readily access to healthy, wholesome protein sources in the state. It also became a, a new partnership for us. So we were able to, to begin clearing uh, surplus eggs from egg producers. 
So these are all about the partnerships of weaving together what we do as food banks with the food producers and the people that we provide the food to and doing it through these public-private partnerships that are funded by the state of Ohio. Known for her tenacious work ethic and drive, Lisa's career is not over. She is continuing to find new collaborators, opportunities for innovation, and soapboxes to appeal for awareness and action. Food banks are very innovative as, it lo as they look at opportunities to be more involved in whether it is urban farming, urban agriculture. So anything that we can do to make those links between where our food comes from, the people that produce it, and how it's produced is important. We also believe that this potentially could be the new workforce of agriculture in the state of Ohio, exposing young people to new career opportunities in agriculture. A steadfast leader in hunger relief throughout Ohio, a friend to the agricultural community for years, and a relentless advocate, the Ohio Agricultural Council is proud to welcome Lisa Hamler-Fugit as a member of the Hall of Fame.